cracking, y'all. Oh, it's racing a mile a minute right now. Welcome to Grand Central Terminal in the heart of New York City. Over a million people pass through here every day, but today, only one of them matters, your rival. Yeah, man, that looks freaking awesome. This tattoo's turning out exactly how I planned. I'm so ecstatic, I'd wear this myself in a heartbeat. I am here to prove to the world and everybody in this competition that I'm an amazing Japanese-style tattoo artist. And I better take this one home. Looks good, dude. The only one I see right now is right, right there, and then right where? this right where that almost meets the face. Really, is Josh going to come over and try to give me advice on Japanese challenge day? <laughs> I think not. I've got this covered, buddy. Thanks, but no thanks. Jason. It's definitely my favorite tattoo I've ever seen you do. So now it's time to poll the judges and determine tattoo of the day. Hands down, for me, Jason took this one. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Yeah. Finally, finally. This is my chance to take Emily down. I want to be her more than anybody. You got it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yours looks way better. Working in the tattooing industry, I've always been misjudged and underestimated as a female Native American lesbian. I want to prove to anyone who's ever doubted me and told me no, that I can't do this. Look where I am right now. Look where I am today. Taisha, you went up against Emily. How'd you feel about that? She just doesn't know when to stop running her mouth. Well, this time you guys were able to have a head-to-head -head competition, maybe squash that. I'm really into the way that you were able to get dimension with this shading on the side of its face. The light, smooth blends and fades that we see on this tattoo separate you from a lot of people in here today. This is a great day for you. The canvases will choose skulls randomly to determine the teams. Uh, randomly. Randomly. I don't know who I'm going to get stuck with. This could be a disaster. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Canvases, one by one, please choose three skulls. Angel. Emily. <laughs> Josh. Oh. Yes. Are you I'm now sandwiched between a real bitch and someone with an ego that needs a two-way door to get through. That's a train wreck, man. Today, your fundamentals were put to the test, tattooing American traditional as a team. Josh, Emily, and Angel, let's start with you. The fundamentals in this tattoo were definitely hit. It's very smooth. The line work on it is flawless. And overall, I think it's a great job. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Peace there, bro. I'm trying to shut some people up. I am so tired of everybody telling me that I can't do a rib tattoo. That's not something that I'm afraid of. I am doing the biggest tattoo possible on this guy's side. Normally, I would have told you all this stuff and talked you out of it, but not today. This is my chance to shut up all the haters. I'm really going to prove a point. I can't give them any reason whatsoever to not give me the title. Josh. You hit gradation out of the park. The front leg on this tattoo is beautiful. To me, that's your highlight of the whole tattoo. To be honest, it doesn't look that far from my shading. My only complaint is that it's not on my ribs. What's going on? You nervous? No. Are you? <laughs> going head to head with Chris is a joke. I could tattoo blindfolded and still beat this guy. Oh, kids these days, man. Clean. You went head to head against Chris. Lining things up in the center of anybody's spine is very tough. And by doing this stylized version of it, you set yourself up never to fail. Choices are what win this competition, and you're making good ones. Thank you. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject on the same body part. You must tattoo a skull on your canvas's head. Oh. Where do you want the tattoo to be? Right in the back of the head. Well, the problem is you have a ridge right here. My canvas has a huge roll in the back of his neck, and that's going to make it really difficult for me to line up the skull. So if I could put somehow the bridge of the nose on that? Placement is everything today. I have to somehow fit the roll into my design. So are you cool if we do a hair up? I, I, I would like the whole skull. 
it's going to be a lot tougher than I thought. Mentally ready for this, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, whatever we do, just don't move. You and uh, Eric kind of did the same tattoo. You guys use the same stencil? It doesn't even matter if Don looked at my design, because I know he's not going to be able to execute it nearly as cleanly as I do. Don just signed his own death warrant by doing this tattoo. It just looks like Yeah, that tops a mother <laughs> Whew. Yes, it is. Clean, let's start with you. I really like the fact that you took the time to add all kinds of different little details and intricate design elements. You've added so much to this design to make it really unique and cool. Thank you. Eric. The eyes are the single best part of this tattoo because people always say that they have eyes in the back of their head. He literally has them tattooed on the back of his head. It's a pretty solid tattoo. The stakes are so high right now, there's five of us left. So I'm going to make this the most badass Grim Reaper you ever did see. Brad, I don't ever get to do black and gray, so it's fun. Yeah, I like doing stuff like this. I'm bringing a lot of creativity to this design. I have the perfect contrast, the perfect composition. I'm going to win. How did you land on this view? She wanted something more creative, so I thought, well, let's just make it look like it just took somebody's soul, and it's reveling in the power of that. You took a big risk on the angle of that skull, but you really nailed the contrast with that soul escaping. It breaks it up really well, and then you have some really dense, dark areas that make it work with that soft shadow coming through. I think you did a great job. I'm really impressed. It's a beautiful tattoo. It's telling a creative story. You thought about what the Green Reaper was and reaping your soul, and you hit the nail on the head with the creativeness. Thank you so much. I am way more versatile than Eric and Jason put together. That title is mine. There it is. I love it. All right, let's do it. This is the largest color realism tattoo I've ever done, but I'm going to kill it. Clean, come on down, man. I was doing photo realism. You know, my guy's a mechanic, and you know I'm a gearhead, and uh, we just decided to do some hot rod stuff and uh, super badass skull. I actually uh, used the photograph that I took of the images to uh, translate them to the skin. You, as always, did a very strong, solid application. It has a strong 90s new school feel to me, but you did pull off a lot of tricks in the tools. But I do feel like it is a very strong tattoo for you. Go check it out. I kept it really fun, really playful. Clean and Eric thought that they would trip me up by giving me new school, but I'm still going to infuse my own style into this tattoo. I'm going to knock this thing out of the park. Okay. Mm -hmm. Girl, you ready for some more work or what? You know, I just feel like at this point, I'm not really wanting to continue on with the tattoo. Who starts a 35 hour back piece and doesn't go through with it? I didn't There's have time to think about it. dollars on the line, girl. I, I mean, you and know, I you're killing me right now. And I finally get here and it's like, I got all this on the line. It's just, I don't know what to do, man. My anxiety is on level 11 right now. Hey, Dave. Got a little bit of a snag here. You're telling me, dude. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. Nice right. to meet you. So glad to meet you. you. Ready for a tattoo Thank today? You. Wow, this is great. I think we got a winner here. Yeah, this is definitely awesome. going to win. That title is mine. All right, JCD, step on up. Let's see your tattoo. My canvas, I was given a new school, and I still wanted to add some of my Japanese elements to it. But uh, I wanted to do something positive. You know, I wanted to do something positive that had a kind of a snapshot of a young child's imagination to it. Yeah. Second time you had to outline that thing, right? Yeah. All right, buddy, thank you. Let's hear from Chris. Yeah, Jason, I think you really crammed a lot of work into your client's back piece. The bottom looks solid, it looks bright, it looks like you put a lot of time into it. I needed all that in there to tell the story. All right, Jason, thank you very much.